So I'm gonna go to my client machine and we're gonna make some changes to this client machine. So just so we know that we got that's our image. So I'm gonna change the, the desktop background to different. So I'm gonna choose, I don't know. Yeah, let's choose that one. That's a good one. And I'm gonna create a new folder. Say test. And uh, new text document and policy. Maybe. And um, I don't know. I'm gonna put the calculator maybe on the desktop here on the side. Okay, so that's good. This image is the way we want it. I mean, you would, for example, install uh, antivirus here, install all the application. You just make it perfect the way you need to run for your organization. Installing everything the user needs to, to have. And then when we're done, what we have to do, this we can't just capture it right away because um, the problem with, these, uh, with that kind of capture is that this image they got um, of the client machines, they have got the SID, security identifier. Now the SID has to be unique. So we have to run something called sysprep. So if I go back to the uh, slides, we see a little bit what we're talking about. Okay, we did talk about these installed images, uh, boot image, installed images, whatever we have captured or the one that we took it from the DVD drive. Boot images, we're gonna make it, we use it for a new machines. They're gonna need a boot image something to boot from. From the boot image, we can create a capture image or a discover image. Like for example, a capture image is used for machines that they can boot from Pixie, from the network, and discover image, you can use it for machines that they can't boot from the network. And the custom images is the images that we create. After you configure WDS, you must add at least one boot image and one installed image. We did add one boot image and from that boot image we created the one capture image. We haven't added any installed image yet. Boot images are images that you boot a client computer into performing an operating system installation. In most scenarios you, would, uh, you can use boot.wim file from the Windows Server 2008 installation or 2012 installation DVD. Boot.wim is located in the sources folder, like we said. Installed images. Installed images are the operating system images that you deploy to the client uh, computer. You can also use the install.wim file from the installation DVD, or you can create your own installed image. Microsoft System Preparation Utility, or SysPrep. SysPrep prepares an installation of Windows Server for imaging. Benefits. Uh, removes a system specific data from the Windows operating system. Removes computer name, for example. Removes product key. So if you have activated the Windows and you run the sysprep, it's gonna take off that activation. Removes the main membership. If the client machine is a member of the main, you will remove it. And removes the security identifier, most important thing. That yeah, security identifi identifier is unique for every client machine. Configures Windows Server to start uh, to audit mode, we can. We can configure Windows Server to start the Windows welcome mode. And resets Windows product activation. Okay. Sysprep prepares the Windows computer for cloning by removing specific computer information, such as the computer name and security identifier. On Windows Server 2012, Sysprep is located in this path, C, Windows, System32, Sysprep. When running a sysprep on the master computer, use the following syntax. Sysprep, generalize, OOBE. We can use it from the command prompt. So if I go to my client computer, which is Windows 7, the path is same uh, for this as well. So I'll open the command prompt. Make sure the command prompt is running in elevated privileges, like administrator. And then see, I'm already at the C on the root, Windows, System32. So all I need to do is uh, change directory to sysprep and then run sysprep path command. Okay, this is gonna uh, open the system preparation tool, 3.14. At the moment I can say, okay, I wanna, uh, not the audit mode, it's just audit mode just to check what happens. But at the moment I want out of the box experience. Generalize, that will remove the SID and any system specific information. 
and I want to I don't want to reboot I want to shut down so when this is finished to shut down and click OK now this image what we're gonna do is we are gonna send what we're doing at the moment we run in sysprep and this is a remove um, sid uh, remove um, name will remove um, activation key so key that's right key I uh, will remove um, anything any system specific uh, things on this client computer so I'll remove a name security identifier key and uh, what did we say earlier anyway this is the important thing is the sit it will remove the sit okay so what are we doing now so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna shut down when this is finished it will shut down and it will be ready to be captured okay I will pause the video when this is ready come back okay Windows 7 has done the sysprep has done its thing now we're ready to start capturing the image before we do that we have to go to the setting of that virtual machine and make sure that the BIOS the boots from the legacy network adapter we have to make sure that that's on the top so move up put the legacy network adapter at the top and this network adapter we have to remove that so we have to have a legacy network adapter so reboot this apply okay so add a hardware and it has to be a legacy network adapter so add that okay make sure that this is connected to our London switch and apply so we have a legacy network adapter that's connected to London switch and we make sure the BIOS is going to boot from legacy network adapter it says there use this adapter to perform a network based reinstallation of the guest operating system well great we don't want to install it we want to capture the image but uh, we're going to boot from the network so okay connect to that uh, machine and start the machine now it's going to ask us to press F12 so make sure that we press F12 uh, to boot from the network at the moment it's trying to he's contacted the WDS you see there London mem1 DHCP it said press F12 for network service boot which I did and now it's TFTP downloading the uh, pixie boot so if I uh, at the moment we can't see that it's happened here we go we have a uh, uh, two uh, options to boot from if this machine a CL Windows 7 doesn't have any operating system we would choose this a boot image but this machine it has the operating system now we don't want to uh, boot from this image we want to actually capture the image okay so we select capture image and press enter okay so now it's uh, loading the files from the uh, that IP address 101010 10, which is member 1 WDS okay so I'm gonna pause the video here and resume when it's finished loading the files okay it's finished loading the file so now the starting um, we should get a WDS a wizard okay yep yeah, here we go it says Windows deployment service image capture wizard welcome to the Windows deployment services image capture this image this wizard capture an operating system including custom application and configuration settings before you begin ensure that you have run the sysprep which we have done on the vol volume that you want to capture after you create the Im uh, install image you can add it to the Windows deployment services to deploy it to the client computer so click next okay after we click next uh, we have to choose uh, the volume to capture the volume to capture is uh, D it says D it's actually the, uh, the C drive of the operating system and uh, what do we want to name this operating system so this capture so we're gonna name it uh, Windows uh, 7 uh, maybe uh, when the date when we captured and so on uh, 0505 um, something that makes sense Windows 7 um, best image okay and then on the description you have to put something on the description click next then the name and location of where you want to put this image you can browse you can put it on the C drive of this uh, virtual machine so you can put it here straight caption it straight put it here or you can put it all you can upload it to the deployment service uh, server right away uh, to deploy to uh, deployment server 
you have to go let's go back to the deploy 